Okay, so the first thing that we can do is uh, we can ask what's on a generic question by the QA API. So uh, if we tap in our question here, um, we're going to use what is on sale today, uh, and that goes up to the API, and you can see that comes back with the uh, results from Watson with the percentage uh, confidence. But what's actually a lot more interesting, obviously we're dealing with retail, is we can start to have questions about a specific product. So uh, we have a full uh, product catalogue imported and a uh, full product search. But because we're on a mobile, what we can actually do is use the barcode scanner uh, via the device's camera. So this will automatically pick up the product that we're interested in, uh, that the customer's holding in their hands. So the next thing to do is to add a customer. Um, so we can search for customers by email address um, from the CRM system. But also what we can do is uh, detect customers coming in with the consumer app installed via Bluetooth and automatically pull the details from their own phones. So as these customers pop into the store, we make it even easier for the shop assistant to detect them. So we're now ready to ask our questions to Watson. We've created a set of questions across each of our five dimensions of customer psychology that are asked via the QA API with details of the selected products added dynamically. Responses are shown for each question, along with the confidence rating, enabling the assistant to quickly drill down to the relevant information. They can also refer to the full product information if needed, as well as viewing the customer profile, including wish list and past purchases. They can also feed back into the system as to whether the response was helpful or not in making the sale, proving the quality over time. The option is also there to switch to a different dimension of question from the one automatically selected based on the customer profile.